Hey guys, Natalie Newhart here, and today I want to just kind of go over um, basically what's been going on with my journey. It is the first week of January, and I've had some pretty big changes and a lot going on um, in the past couple weeks. And um, yeah, just hoping that like sharing my journey with you guys as far as transitioning from CrossFit to bodybuilding and, uh, you know, making my way up towards the goal would be the Olympia or to just go pro. Um, I'm going to set my goals high and try to strive for those. And if it doesn't happen, then as long as I know that I gave it everything I got, then I'm happy with that. But the point of these videos is to just both document my journey, but then also hopefully give you guys, anybody who may be in the same, in a similar situation, um, just some knowledge as far as what I've, what I'm going through and maybe some things that I wish I knew before I actually got into it. Um, so first of all, um, as far as this week goes, or the past two weeks, within the past couple weeks, I have um, gotten a new coach and uh, his name is Austin Stout. Um, you can check him out. He also is on, he, he's got, uh, he's, also on the Beast Fitness Radio, but he also owns his own gym and stuff. You can find him online. So um, Austin Stout is his name. And um, since I've been with him, there's been some pretty big changes in my training plan, in my nutrition. Um, and those are, as far as training goes, um, a huge uh, um a huge, uh, sorry, not downgrade, but um, reduction in volume. So prior to him, I was probably, I, I mean, I've trained, what, the five hours a day that every normal CrossFit Games aspiring athlete, you know, does. So um, I'm used to the five hours of training, and ever since I started with him, it's been like one to maybe two hour sessions. And then get this, no freaking cardio. So um, it's been a huge mental battle to say the least. Um, I can't even remember the last time where I actually did not do cardio. It had to have been over, at least over 10 years ago. Um, so it's been really rough. Um, I feel like, you know, usually I am the first person to get to the gym and I'm the last person to leave. And I freaking love it, you know? I love just, I just love leaving the gym knowing that I gave it everything I had, you know, and go, going to bed knowing that there wasn't anything else I could have done that day that's gonna get me closer to my dreams. You know, at least as far as in the gym, um, I can always work probably a little bit better on the nutrition part. Um, but I mean, my nutrition's pretty, pretty good. It's just, yeah, anyway. Um, so that's been a huge change. So again, from like five hours to one to two hour sessions and then freaking like zero cardio. I mean, he, he tells me cardio is uh, like four rounds of 20 second um, either sprints on the bike or 20 seconds of battle ropes. Um, yeah, and so like when I hear that, that sounds like a warm up to me, um, regardless of how intense you make it, it's only four rounds. So um, it's, it's minimal to say the least. Uh, as far as my diet goes, the only thing that's different, I'm on a meal plan, which I like. Um, the only thing that's different is more variety. So I was doing my basic chicken, rice, um, sweet potato, almonds, um, and I also had egg whites and my, my tortillas. So that was my diet before, and now I've got all of those things actually, like I've got, um, my morning is chicken, banana, and white rice, um, some oils like coconut oils and um, this red palm oil. Um, I also have cream of rice, that's a or cream of wheat. That's the first time I've ever had that. That shit is awesome. Um, I have that post training, so I'll do that with like a little bit of honey, um, as well as some egg whites and a little bit more veggies too. So like bell peppers, um, broccoli, uh, cauliflower. So. Um, just a little bit more variety as far as my nutrition goes, which that I like. That's been cool. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a struggle. Um, however, the thing is, I do know, I, like, 
not this week, but the week before, I was, um, I was having a pretty rough time in the gym almost every day. And uh, it was just, I'm really good at like just pushing my body to like just, you know, grind it out, just keep going. It's okay, just push harder. Um, and uh, I think I was ready, even though I don't want to admit it or I didn't want to admit it then, um, I was ready for definitely like just a deload week. So, um, you know, I, I think it's kind of a blessing in disguise, um, you know, to transition into this low volume type of training. Um, however, I am super anxious to increase that volume now. Um, but so some pretty big changes with that. Um, also, I have started some posing practices on um, on Sundays. I've been doing some private one-on-ones and then I'll start doing some group training sessions coming up here. Um, I have a lot to work on. So um, one of the things in bodybuilding is, you know, you may actually have the rock and body, like the best body out of all the competitors on stage, but if you're not able to display it, first of all, in a nice like feminine fashion or or just um, display it as best as you can to make it look even that much better. Like just by twisting and torquing down and like squeezing, you can actually, I mean, you can make your waist appear much smaller than it is or your shoulders much broader than it is. Stuff like that, um, which, you know, I guess it's good because for me, I've got a really wide waist, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to utilize that. Um, but um, yeah, it's just interesting. And I really suck at it, to tell you the truth. I suck at being feminine and, um, and just like, I like wanna be like all tense and they want you to like relax and like yet still pop your lats out and, and everything. It's just so particular. So I have a lot to work on to say the least with that, which is good because with the lower volume, I should designate more time towards posing. Um, so that's been good. It's a step in the right direction for that. Um, pretty much everyone that I've met with, as like as far as like a kind of a coaching person goes, has said that my waist is really wide. Like it's just square and boxy and it's just genetics. So um, I am gonna have to probably wear a waist trainer and I was doing that for probably a week or two, if you guys, maybe, maybe you noticed in some of my posts or not, but um, it's just like, it's like a core set. So like it starts from here and it goes down here and it's just like one big like belt basically. Um, pretty uncomfortable at first, but then your, your body sort of forms to it. So um, it's supposed to work, um, but I'm probably gonna start wearing it like on a daily basis once prep starts going, I think. I don't know, maybe March, something like that. Um, but that's uh, a new, another new thing that I've come across. Um, not exactly the funnest or most comfortable, but you do what you gotta do. Um, and then just one other thing I wanted to talk about uh, for anybody that's interested in getting into bodybuilding, um, it's a real mind fuck to tell you the truth. I mean, I wish I knew what I was getting myself into before I started this um, because it's so weird. Like, I don't know. I think if I saw myself right now, like if it was pre-show, like if I had never done a show, I would think that maybe my condition, like my body image right now, I'd be okay with it. Um, but after doing a show, you see like how good you can look and how lean you can get your body and everything post show, like you just, you constantly are comparing yourself to that image. Um, and it just really sucks because it just means that you're never really satisfied, or at least I haven't learned it yet, but you're never really satisfied with your, your body image. Um, you know, probably until you start prep again. And so it's just kind of like this constant, like, I don't know. It's just like 
a mental battle slash very emotional, especially if I'm like not doing cardio to add that in, then I feel fat, even more fat on, on top of what I already felt like. And it's just been interesting. And so like, I didn't realize how much of a emotional and mental battle um, bodybuilding was going to be. Um, and I don't particular think, particularly think it's very healthy and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who, who just wants to do it for fun, I feel like. Like, I feel like it can really mess with you. Um, like, after the show, I swear, I was, I was pretty close to going off that deep end. Like, it's pretty easy if you don't have a coach that's guiding you um, in the right direction then it's pretty easy to uh, end up like uh, having like an eating disorder, either eating too much or, I don't know, just having a really unhealthy relationship with food. Um, and I mean, I think, a lot of times I think I'm tough as nails and the, you know, the show just freaking broke me down. So, um, so I would just be aware of what you're getting into. If you guys, if any of you guys are actually thinking about doing it, mm -hmm. um, you know, reach out to somebody, you can reach out to me, talk to, talk to them, just get some advice as far as, you know, whether it's good for you or not, and, you know, maybe what extreme you want to take it, because, you know, if you did a local show and maybe you didn't go so extreme, you know, as far as depleting your body, you probably wouldn't rebound as hard as I did, but um, I had, like, no clue. I was like, fuck yeah, it's competition, I'm going to give it everything I got, and I gave it everything I got, man. I, there is... I fucking trained my ass off, um, but it like it rebounded pretty hard on me. So, um, and I didn't even I had no idea that was even gonna come. I didn't know that was like part of it, you know. Um, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have gone so hard for such a small or regional show. So, um, yeah, just some things to keep in mind. Um, other than that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's what's been going on. Um, hopefully I'm going to try to just keep you guys updated about once a week or so. Um, I need to get better about these. I, I'm hoping that I'm providing value to you guys. Um, cause that's what makes me actually want to do this. Um, as opposed to thinking that people actually, I don't know. I, I, I just hope that I'm providing value to you guys as opposed to just like thinking that people um, or me thinking that people would want to hear what I have to say, you know, if that makes sense. Um, it's just uh, something that I need to work on is talking to the camera and just sharing my experiences in, in hopes that it's benefiting you guys. So that'd be the only reason why I would do this. Um, also, I have, we just set up a, my boyfriend and I just set up a new website and I'll, I've designed some training templates. So I've got an ab program, a cardio program, and like an all-inclusive strength and conditioning program. So if any of you guys are out there looking for one of those three things, it's like 20 bucks, super cheap. Um, I just love programming. So... Um, I'll probably end up designing some more templates, but if you guys are looking for something customized, you can totally email me and we can work on designing a plan that'll cater towards your specific goals. Um, but check out those plans. They're super cool. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of core and you know, none of my stuff is easy. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it for the very beginner. Um, but it's all scalable as far as just reducing reps and sets and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, email me. Um, you can check all that stuff out on my website. And that's it, guys. All right. See you later.